So, uh, we don't we don't get cafe. People <laughs> <laughs> don't know whether our lady just go there and there and just, you know, to uh, avoid traffic. So, uh, what we thought of doing is to make an automated traffic system, uh, traffic light system. So, basically, this is not so what we see in the red light, the red, the orange, and the green color light. Uh, this uh, scans the the lanes of the junction. So then they calculate the traffic from that. Then they uh, send it to the server. So then they can you know uh, guide the vehicles to to the routes that there are less traffic. So this is very important for the ambulances and the fire brigade because uh, these days I, I see like the ambulances they go in go in the main road and there's lots of traffic and it gets stuck and maybe it's, uh, the patient is in there so they, they stay in the traffic for like one number there's no use of amb an ambulance right so what they do is they send the data to those uh, those ambulances and fire brigade so they can take the alternative routes and then go to the destination it's really it's really important. And for, for the people also, they can uh, go in alternative routes and go to their destination other than just staying in the traffic. So they scan and we can use the app or uh, as, uh, navigate, we can put it in the navigation system of the car. So then they can use their own routes. So the, the traffic light, they scan everything in their route and they put it into a server. They decide and they just put it on the screen so the people can go uh, choose the alternative route. So here I explain the, how we are going to do it. Okay, uh, they're going to connect all the uh, cameras, traffic light cameras, to a fiber optic cable, to a centralized server, which will use computer vision like GPUs to uh, calculate how many vehicles are going in that road and make a digital map of the city roads. So then it can uh, adjust the color light to for the vehicles to go and to uh, coordinate and uh, help the people to find more efficient way and that will help save more fuel and time of okay. everyone. And the, the, the cameras in the traffic light lanes in, uh, in real time, uh, they, are, they send the data to update like he said, uh, and they update the traffic light amount of time that puts in the green like that, uh, and it updates real time according to the traffic in the lanes. Uh, so it's more efficient and um, time, and it, it's less time consuming. Basically, and in uh, these days we see uh, in color lights they don't change the time sometimes. So, so uh, sometimes in the morning they have 30 seconds for uh, for, for one way. So uh, in the evening also there's big traffic in that uh, route, but still it's 30 seconds. So they can scan the the time and then they can get love uh, more time for that uh, side to move on. And sometimes uh, in the color lights you see uh, one ways. So if if it goes that way in the morning, it's very very crowded, but in the evening uh, that way is not very crowded. So the, they can allow uh, it, they can turn the one way other side because then they can allow uh, ro uh, cars to come this way. You know they can you know change the routes. They can allow people. So if there's an accident, uh, just imagine in uh, on my right side route. So they can allow they won't allow uh, uh, vehicles to go that way. So they can ask a vehicle to go to take the alternating way and not to use that way, road, then they can uh, just uh, block the road, you know, uh, just put a cross in the LED panel, not to use that road. So like that, we can uh, put up a big LED screen uh, as the color light, we can put all the information in that, so the people can, you know, uh, get to know everything they want. And the, in the app also, in the navigating system also, they can uh, get to know before they go to the junction, so they can take the alternative routes. So that's our, our project, basically. Okay, now uh, the focus of this is not about where one person wants to go. So this system will not will monitor, but will not do much change in the small side roads and all. What it does is focus on where mo most people want to go. Now let's say two of us want to come to this building, but uh, five of us want to go to the next building. The system will focus so that the five of them will be able to 
efficiently go through that building. I'm just saying it helps if you are going to walk or something. Okay, so now uh, the vehicle system. This is will be uh, powered by an artificial intelligence system or something through, through a server. Okay, so now this is not just like Siri or Cortana because you know uh, we are Cortana, how do you make fried rice and then we go like two, three recipes. This, in this in the road system, there are not two, three recipes or two, three ways. There is one way also. So we need a really powerful system to calculate this. And uh, as he said before, uh, people have really displays and stuff on this thing, but not everyone has that. So we thought there would be LED panels uh, above the roads or in road level where people can efficiently see them. Now this system, uh, the importance of it is, uh, yeah, as he said, okay, the 30 second rule. Early morning, there's not much traffic, so 30 seconds is more than enough for one, maybe three vehicles to go through. But uh, office hours, 8 o'clock in the morning, let's say, 8 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the evening, people will have, people will be really, really in trouble because they can't get home in time, they can't get to work in time, night shift cases. So uh, this system will really modify it. Now, let's say there's an empty lane, or maybe now, because you know, all major roads don't have a single lane to go in one direction. There may be three, four lanes. So it just sets one lane apart for the original direction and sets the other three lanes apart for, a, for the modified direction. So in that way it goes faster, traffic goes faster, that the, I'm not saying there won't be blocks, but there will be less than what was there before. And also we're going to put all the uh, train, uh, train uh, schedules to the, to the server. So uh, sometimes you see uh, when the train, uh, train uh, goes uh, passing the road, there will be huge traffic in that lane. So we are going to put all the train schedules then which they won't block the road. So they will they will be you know calculated and they will allow, they won't allow the most of the vehicles to use that road in that particular time. So uh, that's basically our project. Uh, thank you very much.